Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterflies, What's Real Mondays. So I know how everybody hate Mondays. You know, it's the beginning of the week, you have to get up and get back into your routine. So these are just messages Spirit gives me to just serve as motivation. If you're going through any difficulties, something that you can come back to, to just remain positive and focused as you're going through the challenge or even if you're going through you know an amazing season in your life just something to help keep you motivated and remain in a positive state of mind so i do not know what's on the other side of these cards so i am going to flip them over and we are going to see what messages spirit has on this monday so the first card, happy family, okay. And then we have yin and yang. So someone is happy, very balanced relationship. Very happy when, they come, when it comes to this connection. There's a lot of equal give and take. They're experiencing, or I should say you are experiencing wish fulfillment with this person. You see yourself being with this person forever, building with this person, growing together. The Nine of Pentacles. So some of you were in your Nine of Pentacles energy. You were happy, abundant by yourself. And then all of a sudden, Spirit came in and blessed you with your additional Pentacle. You're 10. You're at the 10 of Pentacles. You've done the work on self. You've done the healing. And now you have wish fulfillment coming in. So the next card is Solitude. It says, once you embrace the inner divine in your own sacred solitude, the right people arrive at the right time, exactly on schedule without forcing or chasing. So yes, you waited. You waited on this wish fulfillment and in your waiting season, you worked on self. You did not force it. You let spirit do the work. And because you gave it to spirit, because you gave it over to God, you may have prayed about it and then you just released it to God. And because you did that, you have wish fulfillment coming in. It says, once you embrace the inner divine in your own sacred solitude, you embrace your singlehood. You enjoyed being single. You enjoyed being by yourself. You realize that happiness, peace, comes from within you embrace that and because you embrace that now spirit is ready to give you this gift of wish fulfillment of completion the next card is true healing occurs when i give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers you have healed you worked on yourself. You've done the work. Some of you may have gone to counseling, but you definitely put in the work on yourself. The next card is when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So yes, you are surrendering. You are continuing to surrender to spirit, to, to surrender to the will of God. And because you have done this, you have a relationship, a divine partnership coming in. You gave up your way for God's way, for Spirit's way. The next card is hope is the conduit for miracles. Yes, hope produces miracles. You continue to have faith. You continue to believe. And now you're in your miracle season. Some of you are going to be getting a new job. You are in your miracle season. Everything that you have hoped for is going to take place. You are going to be blessed. 
So let's pull the next card. Penguin. Authentic. It says, reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. So yes, for others of you, be yourself. Do not pay attention to what people think, to what people feel. Some people may feel like you're awkward. It's okay. Continue to be yourself. Whenever you feel like you're getting down and it's starting to get to you, rely on your family. Rely on your friends. They see the beauty in you because you are a beautiful person. Do not pay attention to what other people say about you. Continue to be yourself. Spirit says you are a trendsetter. Continue. Continue to embrace your uniqueness. A lot of times people have negative things to say because they wish they could be you. They wish they could be as free-spirited as you are. They wish that they could make the impact that you are making. So don't dim your light for anyone. Continue to shine. The last card is Eagle Mastery. It says... You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. So yes, you are on a spiritual journey. Some of you are on a spiritual journey in this season. And it's time to release the things of the past. Spirit wants to take you to another level. Spirit wants to increase you. Spirit says you have work to do. You have a mission to complete. Continue to move forward and rely on the guidance of spirit. Your paths are being directed. You may not understand it and it's okay. Just continue to move forward. It says your wisdom inspires the world. For some of you, you are going to make major changes in the world. You are set apart for a reason. Mastery. You are going to master this journey. And you're going to take people with you. You are going to be an inspiration to others. Continue. Continue following the guidance of spirit. You are being risen to a higher level, a higher level of consciousness. And you're being guided every step of the way. So the last card that I have from the postcard from Spirit, it says, Dearest You, a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life's challenges. Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form. In this moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way working out, be a little loser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way to forward can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious, and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map. Let it. Be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in the world in abundance, and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. Yes, yeah, some of you need to be flexible. Spirit says set in your ways. Some of you are set in your ways. But there's a need for you to release your ways and take up God's way. Take up Spirit's way. Take up the guidance that is being offered to you. Stop being stuck in your ways. You know, as human beings, we are creatures of habit. So it's like we like to plan things out. We like things to be the same. But Spirit is saying no. Release all of that. 
There's so many things, so many blessings that Spirit wants to give you. Spirit say wondrous ways. Spirit has wondrous ways. Like you can't understand it. It's so, it's so magical, mystical. It's so empowering. Empowering. Amazing. Give up your way. Give up your way of doing things. Don't remain stuck in the same routine, the same habits. It's time for you to do something different. It says it's okay to take a loss. Because the loss that you took isn't going to be compared to what you are going to gain. You are going to win in the end, but you just have to compromise for now. You just have to take the loss for now because you are going to win. But you got to release first. You have to release your way of doing things. You have to of doing things. You have to release your thought process. You have to release all of that. Wondrous. God is a wonder. Wondrous ways. Does things that you can't even think of, things that you can't even imagine, things that you can't even explain. It's not meant for you to explain. Just sit there in awe. Sit there in awe at the miracle that is going to take place in your life. Just be in awe. 